good morning good morning everybody <laughs> welcome to another vlog today i'm starting you guys off super super early so i know i'm looking crazy it is 6 34 in the morning y'all it's early but um i have to start this day super early because we're going to be going on some adventures today so i'm going to be doing a full get ready with me with you guys in this vlog i haven't done one in quite a long time so i decided you know what why not go ahead and do one so we're starting off with the hair as y'all saw i had to get me a cup of coffee because i just was not feeling getting up this early but i'm gonna tell you guys why i'm up so early in a minute but let me just show you my little braid pattern i just braided my hair down washed it really good deep conditioned it the other day and this is what my hair looks like under my wigs and this is generally what it looks like i usually try to braid it down nice and neat so that it's just out of the way and it's as flat as possible and let me turn up my light a little bit so hopefully you guys can see a little bit better you know what let me just get some more lights going in here guys because i feel like it's kind of dark okay is that better or is that washing me out <laughs> sorry guys if that's washing me out but yeah here's the hair as you can see it's just nice and neat and slicked down this is the wig that we're going to be applying and i get a lot of questions on my wig so i figured you know what why not include you know doing my wig in this vlog slash get ready with me so this is the wig we're going to be throwing on it's called the cloud nine swiss lace wig from their what lace collection and this is the audrey wig this wig is so easy realistic just easy to apply y'all like seriously so the first thing i like to do is spray my hair with a little bit of this Shea Moisture Wig and Weave 2-in-1 Conditioner and Detangler. It just keeps my hair nice and moisturized. So, because I hate my hair feeling dry under these wigs. It just feels like it's breaking when it feels dry. So, I'm going to spray a little bit of that on. Then I'm going to go in with a black wig cap from Amazon. Pop that on because I do like to have my hair kind of secure with a wig cap. So... Easy peasy. I think black wig caps, just for me, they look better under the wigs. I can't speak for others, but I prefer a black wig cap. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and brush out the wig a little bit. I have this little detangling brush. This is by Revlon. I picked it up at Ross and I really like it. It's been working really great for combing out my wigs. So I'm just giving it a little comb through because I have been wearing this one. This is the one that you guys have been seeing quite a bit in my videos. It's just easy, y'all. I'm all about easy. Like, y'all can't forget, I have a whole nother job. So, I try to make this job as easy as possible for me. But I'm going to go ahead and pop it on. Make sure the part is right in the middle. And then, I have a few products to share with you guys. So, what I sprayed on the lace to kind of color it, tint it underneath, is this Ebon Tinted Lace Aerosol Spray. It's like a brown spray so that's what i use and then i do put a little bit of conditioner on the part on the outside to adhere the wig to my head i use this ebon ebon lace wonder bond um i use the extreme firm hold in this red bottle and i also use the black bottle as well but all i'm going to do is secure the wig right here i don't like do all the way down here unless it's a human hair wig i don't i just don't feel the need to do all of that so i'm just going to kind of pull it back a little bit as you can see, I do try to keep it away from my edges as much as possible. Just gonna spray a little bit of that spray right on the edge, just like that. And now I'm just gonna take the wig and pop it right on top of it where I sprayed. Just like that. And like I said, I don't go all the way down because I don't sleep in my wigs, I don't leave them on for days. I usually just take them off at night. So yeah, easy peasy. And now I'm gonna take this elastic band and pop it on just so that the part where I did spray the adhesive can kind of bond and fuse and the lace will look more natural in that area. So I'm just gonna take that, pop it on. This is like a Velcro closure um, elastic band and I get these in a pack of six from Amazon. So I will link all of this stuff, the wig, the adhesive, the lace tint, and I'll also link, um, link what I use to braid down my hair to keep my braids nice and neat and tamed. Um, I use this Red by Kiss Style Fixer Braiding Gel is what I use to braid down my hair and it just makes the braiding so much easier. It's kind of sticky so it makes me grip my hair a little bit better because I'm not the best braider, but yeah. 
Now that the wig is on, I'm just gonna leave it, let it fuse for a little while. Let it just kind of get tacked down in place. And the part is looking pretty good so far, so I don't feel like I really need to add any concealer at this point. But later on, after I do my makeup, if I feel like I need to, then I will at that time. But it's looking pretty good. Like I said, I've been wearing this wig, so yeah, quick little brush out. And now we're ready to get into my face. My face feels so dry right now, like it's so dry. <laughs> Cause I just got out of the shower, made my coffee and came in here and turned on the camera. So I don't have anything on my face, it is super dry. But I'm gonna sip my coffee a little bit, come back. We're gonna do some skincare, makeup, outfit, and we're gonna be out the door because we got some stuff to get into today. It's gonna be a busy weekend, y'all. Okay, you guys, so we're back to get into some skincare. I'm feeling much more awake now that my coffee is starting to kick in, y'all. Ooh, I was tired. When that alarm went off, I was like, what? I feel like I just closed my eyes. I was just watching Forensic Files. But anyway, I'm back. We're gonna go ahead and get into some skincare. I like to start off with a little bit of toner. So I'm gonna be going in with this Cost RX AHA and BHA Clarifying Treatment Toner. So it just starts off the moisturizing for my skin. Woo. Maybe I shouldn't talk and spray that. <laughs> but it just starts off the moisturizing process because lately I have been into very moisturized skin under my makeup. I used to like want my skin to be so matte that I would kind of go light on the moisturizing. But now I'm like, let me moisturize my skin and it always makes my makeup look so much better. And I've been working on getting a more simplified skincare routine going, but also investing in products that are a lot better for my skin. And it's been working out for me. I think my skin is looking pretty good lately. Um, I do get the occasional pimple here and there, particularly around that time of the month. But for the most part, um, my skin has been doing much, much better, especially since I'm using better products. I'm not gonna say I'm using luxury products because that word is, uh, you know, freaks people out, but I've definitely been spending some good money on my skincare products. And I wanted to tell you guys about some products that I've been using because right now it's the Sephora sale and this is a good time to go ahead and pick up some good products if you've been like eyeballing some. I've been hooked on all of the Biosense products. Their products are amazing, y'all, amazing. And I've been using these products for like the last, I'd say six months, but it's so funny because Biosense reached out to me to go ahead and send me their eye cream and I was like, I've already been using y'all eye cream forever. So it was like, why not take a Rhea? But I wanted to just share it with you guys because my under eyes have been a problem for a while. They're very, very dry. Um, I have dark circles that are starting to get a lot better. Thank goodness, since I've been using this product. And now they're just a lot more moisturized. They don't look as dry when I put on my makeup. Like it just feels so much better under my eyes. I don't get as much creasing, which is super important because my eyes crease so badly. But since I've been using the Biosense Squalene Marine Algae Eye Cream, my eyes don't crease as much when I put on my makeup. So I know that this is having like a really good effect on my skin, but I just love all of the Biosense products. I'm gonna be starting off with the Squalene Copper Peptide Rapid Pumping Serum. Serum? <laughs> serum. Serum, this is what it looks like. I'm gonna be starting off with that on my skin. And this is also super moisturizing and it has all kinds of peptides and it it brings so much hydration to my skin. I absolutely love this product. I use this day and night because I have started using tretinoin at night. So I use this to protect my skin and moisturize my skin at night. And it is amazing. This is one of the best serums I've ever used. And you talk about plumping. I mean, it has plumping in the name, but it makes my skin feel so plump and hydrated and just so soft and supple. You, are, you guys can already see the glow that's coming up just from that serum. But now I'm gonna go ahead and go in with their Squalene Omega Repair Cream and be advised, y'all. I paid for these products with my own money. Yes, Biosense reached out to me to send me an additional eye cream. 
but the other stuff I bought. Just FYI, I'm just saying. Like, I'm not trying to push something on y'all that I haven't been actually using and loving. So, yeah, I love their products. But I'm going in with the Biosense Squalene Omega Repair Cream, which is a super moisturizing cream. You can wear this day or night. And, again, another very moisturizing, very plumping cream. Um, definitely has helped with my fine lines around my eyes and my mouth. And I am in love with this moisturizer in love like it feels so good going on my skin like oh my goodness you want to talk about moisture deep penetrating moisture that cream is just absolutely amazing and this is another thing that has peptides omegas in it it's just so good it has squalene which is you know really deeply penetrates to help remove fine lines and Oh my goodness, look at my skin. Now we're gonna go in with the Squalene Marine Algae Eye Cream, which is what I wanted to share with you guys because like I said, my under eyes, I've mentioned to you guys in videos that my under eyes have been a problem for a while. And this cream has helped them so, so, so much. It's helped to lift the deep set under eye that I have. It's helped to get rid of my fine lines and make them look a lot less prominent. It's helped with my dark circles. It just has helped to make my eyes look so much brighter and alive because usually they look so sunk in and dark. And if you guys can see, they just look so much better. And also the moisture that this cream brings to my under eyes is just, oh goodness, it just feels so good. With my under eyes, they just get terribly, terribly dry. But yeah, I wanted to share those products with you. Definitely go pick up the Biosance eye cream if you don't get any of these other products. The eye cream is absolutely the best. And right now is the best time to do it at Sephora because their um, sale event just started. I think it's open net right now for the Rouge members. And so I'm certainly gonna be stopping by Sephora today. That's gonna be one of the places we're gonna be stopping at to pick up a few things. But yeah, I would definitely say go check them out. But I'm also gonna be going in with some sunscreen. This is from Supergoop because gotta have some sunscreen under that makeup. I don't play with my sunscreen anymore either. I've realized that skipping sunscreen is just, it's, it just worsens your skin. You know, all that sun exposure is just not good. But look at how moisturized my skin is. It's so shiny. My makeup's gonna go on so flawless. And I'm certainly going for a very natural, dewy, nice look today, so yeah. We are ready. Thank you so much, Biosigns, for reaching out to me and sending me your squalene. Um, marine algae eye cream like I said already a fan already loving it but yeah you guys definitely want to go check out the Sephora sale right now I'll leave some links for you all below if you want to go ahead and pick up this product because I think it's definitely worth it like I said I've been investing in my skincare lately because I just realized at my age it's just not something I can skimp on or be cheap on anymore so I've been willing to like do what I have to do, spend what I have to spend to get the skin that I want. And I'm, I'm very happy with the results. I think it's the best investment that I can make, you know? So yeah, check out that description if you wanna pick up any of these products, but we're gonna go ahead and get into some makeup now. Okay, you guys, so starting off with the eyes, I'm gonna be doing my eyebrows first and then my eyeshadow and then applying some lashes. I'll just talk you all through the products really quick and then I'll let you watch and speed things up. But I'm gonna first be going in with the Come At Me Brow Brow Wax. This is from Misguided and you guys have seen that in my video a few times. I'm also gonna sculpt out my brows with the Kevin O'Quan Skin Enhancing Skin, what is it called? Sensual Skin Enhancer? Kevin O'Quan Sensual Skin Enhancer. I'll be going in with that to sculpt them out. To actually like fill in my brows, I'll be using the Juvia's Place Eye Sculpt um, Eyebrow Palette. This is what it looks like. And for my eyeshadow, I'm gonna be going in with the Makeup by Mario Etherreal Palette. This is what that looks like. And I'm just gonna be using two colors in here. I'm gonna be using this really dark brown, and I'm gonna be going in with this like beigey color here on the lid, so yeah. Those are the products I'll be using, and for my lashes, I'll be going in with my Dye Silk Lashes in the Style 002 from Amazon. You all have seen these as well. These are like my tried and true products, honestly. For my um, primer, I'll be going in with the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer with the 4% um, Niacinamide, so I'll be going in with that for my primer. So yeah, those are the products. You guys can just sit back, watch, and we're gonna get into this face because I'm ready to get cute because we got a lot going on, y'all. We got a lot going on. I'll talk more about it. Hold on.
sorry y'all had to take a little sip let me sit this out way out of the way so i won't knock it down but I went ahead and applied my lashes off camera and if I didn't mention it, I always forget something. I did set my eyelids using the Turn Up The Base Powder Foundation by One Size Beauty in the color Dark 2N. So I think I might have forgotten to mention that, but that's what I used to like set the concealer or that um, Kevin O'Quan under my eyes, on my eyelids. I don't know what I'm saying, y'all. The coffee, I'm, I'm still not all the way woke, y'all. <laughs> I'm still not all the way woke, but anyway. We're gonna go ahead and get into the face. I'm just gonna walk you through the products real quick and then I'm gonna speed through the application. I'm gonna be starting off with the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter Foundation. I'm using the color number seven, I believe. Yeah, Deep Rich Seven. And for concealer, I'll be using the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in the color Mocha. And I'll also be using the Tarte Creases Concealer in the color 455. So I'll be using these two concealers to sculpt out my nose, I'll be using my usual, my uh, Black Radiance sculpting sticks. To set my concealer, I'll be using the Fenty Beauty Foundations in the color 370 and 390. Those are what I always use. And I may use a little bit of the Kosas Cloud Set in the color Kushni. I may use that as well. Kosas powder is like so smoothing under the eyes. It's just so good. And for my bronzer, I'll be using the Juvia's Place, the bronzed, in the color dark this is what that looks like for highlighter i'll be using the juvia's place highlighter volume 2 which is like a gold highlighter looks like this for my blush i'm going to be going in with sort of a reddish orangey blush and this is the covergirl true blend in the color so flush this is what that looks like and yeah those are all the products pretty much I think I showed you everything, so let's go ahead and get into the application. Like I said, I'm gonna speed through everything so that this part of the video is not too long because this is a vlog, so we gotta hit the streets, okay?
you guys, so the face is done. I am feeling really good. I like the way my makeup looks. I mean, honestly, the makeup to me looks different on camera. Like when I'm looking at my viewfinder, it looks different than it does to me in person and I'm feeling it. I'm gonna go ahead and set my face using the One Size Beauty On Till Dawn Mattifying Waterproof Spray because I want a mattifying spray since I use so many dewy products. And can I just tell you guys, that e.l.f. foundation is just so bomb, y'all. That foundation is so good. If you haven't tried that foundation, you have to try it out. But I'm gonna go ahead and finish off my lips with you guys. I'm just going in with a brown lipstick. Same mold, same mold on that. Y'all know I'm like a broken record with these lip looks. I am not adventurous because I just don't have the lips for it. So I'm gonna go in with that brown liner and then I'm gonna go in with this Charlotte Tilbury um, lip gloss in the color Peep. Peepish Rose, I guess that's what it's called. This is what it looks like. I'm gonna go on top with that, sort of like a pinkish gloss. And I will link all of these products in the description. So if you're interested, now's the time to get it because Sephora sale is going on right now and I'm definitely going by there to get some things myself, so. Yeah, then I'm gonna just top it off with this glitter gloss from Bath & Body Works. And yeah, that is the makeup, y'all. It is all done. It is done. Put in my forehead a little bit. And get in there with these fingers, girl. Sometimes you just gotta use your fingers like Meredith Duxbury. <laughs> I'm gonna try her foundation routine one day, but I'm gonna go ahead and unbox my wig for y'all while we're here. I'm gonna go ahead and take that off because I'm actually getting ready to throw on my outfit. I really want to get out of here right now so yeah wig is looking good she's nice and late she's looking pretty natural these synthetic wigs be popping y'all y'all can't lie these synthetic wigs be popping don't they and you don't have to do anything to them you don't have to curl them you don't have only thing i do is like flatten the top using my blow dryer that's usually what i do have to do but other than that just put it on and go like it's the best it's the best that's why i love a good synthetic wig i get a lot of my ideas from my for my synthetic wigs from britney her channel is called oh shoot i can't even think of her channel right now what the hell she does all kinds of reviews on synthetic wigs and i swear every wig looks so good on her but i'm gonna leave her channel below but i think i even got th this wig from her she shared it or she um did a review on it but she's just the best I can't think of her channel name right now, what the hell? I'm drawing a blank, y'all. It's still early. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and get these clothes on so we can get out of here. What we're doing right now, we're going to Target because Target is dropping a new collection. Well, actually a few new collections from several designers for spring and summer. And I don't wanna miss out. So Target opens at eight, it's 7.44 right now. So we need to get out. I wanna be in the parking lot when they unlock them doors. So let's go ahead and get our outfit on. I'll show it to you guys and we're gonna be out. Okay guys, I am dressed and I am ready to go. I'm wearing this really cute black and white gingham dress. This is from ASOS. It's like a maxi dress. Threw it on with some black and white Nikes that I got from Nordstrom a while back. And I also threw on this black cardigan from ASOS. My scent of the day is Coco Chanel Mademoiselle. So I'm gonna be spraying some of that on because I haven't put on any yet. And yeah, we looking good, we smelling good, we feeling good, and it's time to go. We are going to Target, and then we're going to the Amazon grocery store that they recently opened up in my area. I've been wanting to go there for a while now. So we're gonna be going by there. And I also would like to try to go by Sephora, but it depends on what time I'm done at the other places. But yeah, this is the look, y'all. We are ready. We got our little split popping. We got our sneakers on, so we're ready to run around. Let's get out the door. It's later than I want it to be. Hey guys, so I made it to Target. I was a little bit nervous for a second because I didn't think that they had the new collection because it wasn't in like the normal women's section, but they do have it at my Target. And they have all of the um, brands, like the designers, they have them all. So Finoel, Agua Bendita, they have them all. So yeah, 
so happy they got it so I can pick out some pieces, try it on for y'all and see what it's looking like. So yeah. Okay, you guys, so I am in trouble. Like not only do they have all of the pieces in the collection, but they are so bomb. Like I couldn't stop picking up stuff. So <laughs> know what this bill is about to be looking like but i'm definitely gonna use my target card so i can get that extra five percent off but y'all anyway i'm on my way to the dressing room because i have to get multiple sizes of each item and i definitely want to take it back up there because i know people are going to be coming back in there they said they anticipate it's going to sell out in the next hour so i'm so glad i got here when they open but anyway so as you can see i got a huge pile of stuff i have to talk over the music you guys because i don't want to get copywritten but i have to try on all of this stuff so let's get into it i'm gonna show y'all as i go <laughs> to try to talk over this music but i'm finished shopping i pretty much got everything that i took in the dressing room i took multiple sizes i just put the extra sizes back so that any ladies can find them but the only thing i'm on the fence about is this scarf um you can use it as a sarong a skirt like a head scarf that's the only thing i'm on the fence about um it is 20 bucks and i'm just wondering how much i'm gonna wear it it's not like satin it's kind of like a cotton material about this one it's cute though it's really cute but anyway time to check out all right y'all i'm all checked out headed out of target but I, I just met the most wonderful person in target her name is victoria she lives in my area she's a sister she hooked me up on some like pages that i need to follow and all that stuff but um she mentioned a white caftan so now i'm like i don't want the white caftan she's talking about so now i think i'm about to go to another target y'all I think I'm about to go on and try to go to another Target to find the white captain that Victoria told me about. So I guess it's by Fee Noel, part of that collection. So yeah, we're on our way to another Target, y'all. What can I say? All right, we are at Target number two, which is the white Target. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> this is not far from me, but I'm just surprised to see a white uh, Target bullseye. <laughs> I'm crazy, y'all. Let's see if we can find the collection on our own without help. Okay, I gotta talk over the music again, you guys, but this one actually has more pieces than the other Target. <laughs> this one, I don't wanna say the location, y'all, because I just don't want people trying to find me. I'm not the one to be found, trust me. But um, yeah, so I'm actually gonna grab a couple other pieces that they didn't have in my size at that one. But yeah, this one actually has more of the pieces from the collection. So kind of surprised. So there is the Amazon Fresh grocery store right there. That is where we are headed, y'all. We are on our way. I can't wait to see what it's like in there. I have no clue. Okay, once again, I gotta try to talk over loud music, but right off the bat, I love the way the store looks. The aesthetic is just bomb. Uh, fully stocked. Um, the prices, I'd say, are pretty much the same as the grocery stores that I normally shop at. I don't, I'm not seeing anything that's like really, you know, gravely discounted. <laughs> so I pretty much could get this stuff at my local grocery store, which is probably what I will continue to do. But I do like the aesthetic of the store. It looks so nice. It's so neat. Everything is like fully stocked. So loving that so far. But yeah, I'll let you guys know what I got. I've already picked up quite a few things. So um, yeah, let's finish up so we can head home and work.
All right, y'all. So I am on my way home. The Amazon grocery store is pretty nice. I'm not going to lie. Like, I'm the kind of person I'm willing to pay a little extra when I know I'm getting, like, good quality. So they had a lot of the 365 brand from Whole Foods, which is, like, all organic products. The store was really neat. It was very well stocked. The customer service was excellent. So yeah, I would definitely recommend if you have one in your area, I would say try it. Just know that you won't be getting like a major, major bargain in comparison to like regular chain grocery stores. There was like a few items that in my opinion were a little bit cheaper than your major chain grocery stores. For the most part, the prices are pretty much the same. But when you're thinking of like those 365 items and you know, organic items, they're going to be a little bit more. So I kind of expect that. But yeah, I was very impressed by the service. I was very impressed by the store layout. I was very impressed by how organized and neat it was and clean. So yeah, definitely a plus. Um, I would certainly recommend if you have one in your area. Um, the one that I went to is in Pasadena. So yeah, really nice one. I recommend y'all. But I am on my way home now. I should be there in just a couple of minutes. So I'll show you guys uh, what I got. And then I got to get into some content for the day, some actual real work. I've been running around shopping, trying to act like this is work. <laughs> Even though I'm blogging, it's not really work, but it is kind of fun too at the same time. But yeah, got to get in some work today. I got to get in some work. But um, yeah, should be home in a few minutes, y'all. I'll show you what I got. Okay, y'all, I am back. Let me show you really quick what I ended up buying from the grocery store. I'm gonna try to go through this stuff real quick. Parsley, I got these battered, um, crispy beer battered fish sticks because I wanna try to make this viral fish tacos that I saw on TikTok. I got some French toast sticks because I love those for breakfast. Got some grits um, because I wanna make fish and um, shrimp and grits in the next week or two. Um, great tomatoes, what else we got here? Some salad to go with the pasta that I'm gonna cook for dinner tomorrow. Peeled garlic, organic. And I got some Texas toast to go with dinner tomorrow, which is gonna be a pasta. I also got some frozen fruit. I got frozen mangoes, tropical mix, and what's this one? Frozen peaches, so those are gonna go into the freezer right now. I can already feel that they're starting to melt a little bit. I also got some white wine vinegar and some red wine vinegar because I'm low on, I don't have any red wine and I'm low on the white wine. A couple of lemons. Um, I also got a bunch of these vodka sauces, the Classico. They have them on sale two for four and I'm gonna make a vodka pasta tomorrow. So I got a few of those. I got four of those, that's three. Got some cheese, Kobe Jack. What else, y'all? This turned out to be a lot of stuff. My bill was almost exactly $60. It was 59 and some change. Here's another vodka sauce. What else? Cream of wheat, because I actually really like cream of wheat and I don't have any more right now. I used the last of it a while ago. A cucumber for my salad tomorrow, for tomorrow's dinner. I got this large thing of chili. Um, if you guys saw when I went to the little hot section, they had some beef chili. So we're actually gonna have this for lunch tomorrow um, with like the fixings on top and stuff. I love chili. I got some red onions and last thing in here is some chocolate chip cookie dough. So yeah, that's what I got from the Amazon grocery store. Let me show you guys what I got from my Target haul. Okay, I'm not gonna try it on. I'm just gonna show you. You guys will see this stuff in upcoming videos, vacation videos and whatnot, upcoming vlogs. So I'm not gonna try it on because I actually need to get started filming some YouTube content for today, but I'll show you. So let me turn you around and show you that real quick. So real quick, let me show you what I ended up getting from Target. This is my really long deal here. And I pretty much stuck to getting stuff for the collection. I'm proud of myself because I didn't go all the way down the store and like picking up stuff. But uh, the first thing I got is this cute little set of cloth um, bangles. These are really cute. And I like that they're kind of small because my wrists are small. So those are from the Road Collection. Um, I also got this set here. And you, I think I inserted a clip trying this on. This is from the Agua Bendita collection. So I got the pants and I also got the little um, wrap top here that goes with it, like little deep V. 
um, top that you can kind of wrap and tie in the back. I also got some pieces from the Fee Noel collection. I got these wide leg pants. At first when Kalana Barfield had this on, I thought it was like a marijuana print, but it's actually just like a, a leaf print. It's really, really nice. Um, and it has like a white stripe on the side. So yeah, this is from the Faye Noel collection or Fee Noel Court collection. And I got the matching kimono to go with that, a robe that goes with that. I think I inserted a clip trying that on. I also got the matching scarf to go with that. So um, yeah, I'm looking forward to taking that on my upcoming vacations. I also bought this green belt. This is one of the few things that I got that wasn't related to the collection. It's like a woven green belt. Got this little $5 green t-shirt. Like a little, I don't know, just a little simple crop tee. I have some green and white striped pants from New York and Company that I want to wear that t-shirt with. I also got these pieces from the Fee Noel or Fay Noel collection. These sort of balloon style harem pants. And I think I inserted a clip of those on. I have those in a size 12, I think. And I got this little flouncy skirt that I inserted a clip of as well in a size 12. I got the little matching top in a size 12. All of this is from the Fee Noel collection. And I love that it's actually linen. It's such a nice material. It's gonna be perfect for my upcoming vacation. And then when I went to the other Target, so I have a different, different receipt here, I picked up this top, which is from the Fee Noel collection. A lot of stuff from the Fee Noel collection. I picked up this little top here from that collection. It's like one shoulder wrap top. And this would go cute with those harem pants, like the balloon pants as well. Or I could just wear this with like wide leg linen pants or black jeans or something like that. But yeah, that's everything that I got here. Yeah, that's everything that I picked up. So really nice pieces that I found during my little excursion at Target. So I was happy that I got there super early because that stuff is gonna be gone. Like literally that stuff's gonna be gone. So I'm glad I got what I wanted. And you guys will see all that styled up in upcoming vlogs, upcoming videos, you know. You know, but yeah, that's what I got from Target. So now I'm gonna get started on some content. I won't be back with you guys until later on this evening when I get ready to go out. We're gonna be going to dinner for my cousin Tori's birthday. So I'll be taking y'all along for that. But I won't be back until then because I gotta get busy on my work, y'all. So yeah, I'm gonna get out of this cute little dress here and get into some clothing. I got about 12 outfits to try on for this video I'm about to make, so yeah. Time to get busy, y'all. See you later. Okay, guys, real quick. My sister's filming for me. We're getting ready to head out to dinner for my cousin's birthday. I just wanted to show you the outfit of the evening. I'm wearing this cute black ribbed dress from Amazon. You all have seen this. It's like a long sleeve dress, and I threw on this faux leather double-breasted blazer on top. I have on my Nasty Gal Genuine Leather Boots, and I also redid my makeup, y'all, because it was just too heavy for what is going on this evening like I don't need to be caked up just to go hang out with my cousins and my sister so I kind of redid that but yeah this is the look y'all this is the outfit so ready to go have some margaritas some fajitas whatever else I see y'all in the streets
Hey everyone, welcome to another day on the vlog. I really enjoyed hanging out with you all last night, but today is Sunday and I have a very special outing. Normally I just like to take my luxurious bath and stay in my cozy clothing on Sundays, but me and my sister are actually going on a little bit of an adventure. She needs to create some content for her Instagram and of course I'm always down to do something fun. So we are going on a gondola ride, you guys. I'm already on the road. You're gonna love this part of the video. All this wind is kicking up like crazy out here. The wind is crazy. Look at my sister, oh, she looks so pretty. Hold your wig down. She looks so cute in her little springy outfit. So, like I said, we're here to shoot spring content, particularly for my sister. She's probably gonna be doing some things to do during spring videos. So definitely follow her because if you're looking for like stuff to do during spring, she got you. Are these private owned boats, Jake? Or are these oh, yeah. oh wow. So cool. We need to get a portrait of Jake. He's kind of pretty. Yeah, Jake, Jake you're handsome like a model. Pretty. I appreciate yeah. it. Yeah, you can be a model. You need your little two jobs, Jake. <laughs> Yay, we don't want to go! 